is, of course, the winds. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of that today. Yeah, we already had those red flag warnings posted yesterday. We're still going to have to watch it. The good news is, though, with the cold front bringing in cooler air and also a little bit of moisture, that should help keep some of that fire danger down. Cold front continues to make its way into the state. Now seeing a little piece of it getting into the northeastern plains, but you can see that line of rain and snow moving through Colorado right now is making its way further to the south into the land of enchantment. Trying to get a few of those weak showers going across the northeastern plains. This is exactly what we are expecting. It's not a lot, and we're going to continue to watch these showers build through the later part of today. But metro area, we don't look to see anything in the way of showers right now. Temperature about 64 degrees sitting underneath that mostly sunny sky. We will continue to see those winds, though, northwest coming at about 20 miles per hour and breezy across the state. Where that front's been is where we're seeing the strongest winds, with Clayton looking at sustained winds closer to about 30 miles per hour. These winds will likely get worse before they get better this afternoon. Notice your wind cast. When I put this into motion, notice the yellow filling in as that front pushes across the state. Those yellow colors mean about 20 to 30 miles per hour, if not greater than that. So wind gusts, I'm thinking over 40 miles per hour, a definite possibility at that. So hold on tight with those winds. As far as the cooler temperatures go, we will see a cool down and it will be noticeable, but we're not necessarily looking at cold temperatures. Losing a good 5 to 10 degrees off those afternoon numbers across western and central portions of the state. About 10 to 20 degrees across the eastern plains. So, yeah, you'll notice it, but even that 10 to 20 degree drop will only leave us in the 50s and 60s out east. This is what I'm talking about. Scattered storms and showers expected for the lower elevations of the northeastern plains. You really got to get up into elevation to see the good snow showers against the eastern slopes of the Sangre de Crystal Mountains. 2 to 4 is what we're going with over 9,000 feet, so it's not going to be a huge snowmaker for us, but any little moisture helps. This all gets kicked out tomorrow. We're left with the cool temperatures. Friday looks great. High pressure moves in. Sunny skies continue into the weekend. Southern Colorado, I'm really not seeing much for you. A mix of sun and clouds, but actually more sunshine than clouds today. Temperatures where they were yesterday in those 50s. Northwest Plateau, partly sunny and windy with that front on its way. Upper 50s, low 60s today only warming up through the rest of the work week. Southwest, sun and clouds, breezy like we were talking about, 60s and 70s. Not as warm as where you started the week, but you will get there once we hit this week, and we're already talking 80s by Sunday. Southeast, more clouds, warm and very windy as that front makes its way in. You will actually be the warmest part of the state, but with the front, we're down to the 60s tomorrow, and then got to start that warm-up process all over again for the weekend. Northeast scattered rain and snow showers, more like a rain snow mix at that starting now through the end of today. Very windy with that front pushing in. We actually get cooler tomorrow, but drier for Thursday and then warming up through the rest of the work week. Northern mountains, rain and snow showers, still a definite possibility. Windy conditions and temperatures in the 50s and 60s for the later part of today. East mountains, partly sunny and windy. Still a good amount of sunshine expected to get those temperatures into the 60s. And as here in the metro area, a mix of sun and clouds. The winds will continue to crank as that front dives in. And then really once we hit tomorrow, a little cooler, more sunshine. We're good to go Friday through this weekend with nothing to talk about but warmer temperatures and mostly sunny skies. You know, this always happens. You get a few days where it yes. feels like winter's done. Mm -hmm. Put your and plants out. Gets that last little punch yeah. in. Yeah, luckily it's not here in the metro. It'll be to the northeast, but we'll be uh, tracking the moisture all afternoon. All right. Thanks so much, Kristen. Yeah.